Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve high memory or CPU usage as a result of the IGF XEXT module on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to open up a web browser. Type in Intel drivers. Go to intel.com, download Intel drivers and software. And then you want to select where it says automatically update your drivers. Use this tool to identify your products and get driver and software updates for your Intel hardware. Go ahead and select the Get Started button and select the Download Now tool. Again, make sure you're getting this directly from intel.com. It should be directly from the manufacturer here. And go ahead and open that up. You want to accept the license terms and conditions and select install. And then you can select either accept or decline to join the improvement program. I'm going to select decline, but you're welcome to select accept. You don't have to as a condition of installing the drivers here. You can also close out the web browser as well. Once it's done downloading, go ahead and select Restart. And once that's done, I recommend opening up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, I'm gonna have a couple of commands in the description of my video. The first one is a DISM command. Go ahead and copy that. And then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here, right click on it, select edit and paste that in. Hit enter to run that command and give it a couple minutes to run. Okay, so once that one is done running, go ahead and copy the second command in the description of my video. It's a system file tracker utility scan. Go ahead and copy that and then paste it into the command prompt as well and run it. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and close out of here, and then you want to restart your computer.
And there you go, guys. Hopefully this pointer issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.